Do stock 463 valve engines need a baffled oil pan if I want to try autocross or tracks such as Pocono or VIR? I would say yes. Uh, we put uh, road race oil pans on every single car that we do. Uh, it's just it's an insurance policy. I mean, it's just the, the, the what's different about a road race oil pan uh, and is the fact that they're obviously a little bigger. They hold more oil. But where the pickup is, there's little, little like fences all around where the pickup is with little one-way trap doors. So as the car would go through a corner and the oil would slosh, it would be able to slosh into the little, little pickup area. But because the trap door won't slosh out and the other way, it'll slosh in but not slosh out. That way, you've always got oil uh, being picked up. If you don't, I mean, there's a chance that if you, if you don't have a good oil pan going through a corner, really fast getting the oil is kind of like going right up the side of the pan in the engine and if your if your uh, uh, oil pump is sucking air uh that's a catastrophe i can tell you that for a fact because you mentioned pocono okay i had a very interesting experience at pocono a number of years ago we were i was there doing a, a segment for uh motor week uh with uh, the red rocket which is my 96 Cobra, the supercharged Cobra that was, was really fast car and uh, blew the engine up uh, at, the, at, at Pocono. And, you know, the, the forensic analysis, what had happened is coming down, I mean, you come right around really fast on, on, the, on the oval and then you dive down into the infield. And it, it's a pretty hard breaking and turning. And uh, based on what we found in the engine when we took it apart and talking to the engineers up at Ford, what happens is the, uh, the oil in, in the stock, this is with a stock oil pan. In a stock oil pan, the oil under hard braking will slosh up to the front of the pan. And once it gets there, the timing chain becomes an extremely efficient oil pump. And it just throws all the oil out of the oil pan up in the top of the motor. So, and that's what happened. I mean, you do that a couple of times to suck air and boom, you know, it was, the rods went out. So yeah, at Road Race Oil Pan, we've, we, we used the Cantons, had really, really good luck with them. Uh, I, think, I don't know if we've got one on, on the website right now. I asked Brad to put one up. I think they're the, uh, uh, the Road Race Oil Pan for a 4.6, I think it's around 420 bucks. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot cheaper than a motor. Uh, and that way you, you've got insurance that you're going to have oil pressure. So, yeah, I, I'd strongly recommend anybody that does a lot of track days. I strongly recommend a road race oil pan. Uh, it's just insurance. You know, it's a, it's a cheap insurance policy. So, okay, that's for the oil pan. Uh, and then I'm, I'm sure that uh, if you check in a day or so that we'll have that up on the website. And if not, just call it a rich. We can get you fixed up. Another thing when you change oil pans on the, any of the modular motors, on the brand new cars, because we do a lot of like brand new, brand new cars, uh, we'll reuse the oil, the oil pan gasket because it's it's pretty fresh. But <clears throat> something like a three six on a four six, uh, <clears throat> you need to get a fresh oil pan gasket, <clears throat> and they're kind of like a, the big a one piece thing, and it's just another good insurance. I mean, there's nothing worse than spending all the time to put a, a good oil pan on, not change the gasket, and then find yourself, you got a little oil leak. So you always want to get an oil pan gasket when you change the oil pan too. Uh, 